वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे पहला कल की तर पातशाही बख्शी हुई फतेह गज बज के रल मिल के सारे ने बुलंद आवाज विच आओ आखो वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह महाराज जी हैव ब्लेस्ड अस टुडे टू बी एबल टू गो थ्रू सम पार्ट ऑफ गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी महाराज जीज लाइफ and today when we go through guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji's jeevani up to the gurgaddi something very unique and very different to the way we're going to start today from the way we've been starting from the other guru sahibs because when we start from the other guru sahibs we talk about the guru that was on the gurgaddi before that guru and then we start and we talk about from that guru sahib coming up on the earth but something very unique that guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji did for the khalsa pant or should i say for the whole of humanity <clears throat> when they come to read guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji's bani when we come to read sri dasam granth sahib ji's bani there's a bani within there called bachitra natak something unique that guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji has done they have spoke about their own life within this bani guru maharaj ji talk about guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji within their own words within their own bani maharaj ji talk about that time and that period before they even came upon this world gurusik pyaro just before we go further and look into the bani of guru gobind singh ji maharaj first we just can look at what this bani means maharaj ji have called this bani bachitra natak what does this mean if we look at the word bachitra on its own The word bachitra on its own can mean wondrous. Natak meaning play. So when you put this together, Guru Gobind Singh ji say saying just before I'm about to narrate to you about my own life. Not only about this life but even before 1666 before I even came upon this earth Guru Gobind Singh ji writes. They say before I even tell you about bachitra this wondrous play I'm going to book before you. Guru Gobind Singh ji Maharaj is telling us so much just within this title. So if this means wondrous play, it just doesn't mean that it means more than that. Bachitta, let's split this word up now. It's made up to, of two words, of be and then chitter. The word chitter translates to painting. Guru Sikh Pyaro when Guru Gobind Singh ji Maharaj is talking about this bani, what are they saying to us that be chitter? Be meaning many. Chitter meaning paintings. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying, "I am going to paint many scenes of my life before you." Guru Gobind Singh Ji is saying, "Be chitter, chitter meaning painting." So I'm going to paint many scenes of my life before you. And they've used the word natak, but chitter natak they've called this life when they came upon this earth. They've called it a play. Why is Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji called it a play, Guru Sikh Pyaryo? Again, if we look at their bani, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying, "Main ho param purk ko dasa." Dasa meaning the servant. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying, "This is I am the servant of who? Main ho param purk ko dasa. Param purk. Param meaning the highest. Purk meaning the being, referring to Bhai Guru Ji Akal Purk. Guru Gobind Singh Ji saying." मैं हो परम पुरख को दासा देखन आयो जगत तमाशा गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी महाराज इज कॉलिंग दिस अ प्ले दे कॉलिंग दिस लाइफ अ प्ले दे से आई हैव कम टू सी दिस प्ले टू वॉच दिस प्ले गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी महाराज इज सेइंग मैं हो परम पुरख को दासा देखन आयो दिस इज हैव कम टू वॉच देखन आयो जगत तमाशा टू वॉच दिस तमाशा अगेन मीनिंग प्ले सेम थिंग Guru Sikh Pyaro and many people come upon this earth even though this is a play but many people get indulged and engrossed and get entangled in this play thinking this play is real 
This life, people, our illusion to think this is all real and it's permanent when we're living our lives. Like an example I use very often, Guru Sikh Bharu, if Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj is calling this a play, it's just like a play, just like when we play games. As we were growing up, many of us must have played games at home. A very popular game many of us must have played is a game called Monopoly. I used to play it when I was young. And as you know, within this board game, you've got many properties. And it's like this, this is what happens to us when we don't realize that this is a play. It's like buying a property in Monopoly, we're playing a game here, imagine this. Within this board game, we sit amongst our family, we sit amongst our friends and we buy a property. It may be the best one on the board, we may buy Mayfair. We've bought that property and imagine that time comes when you have to then sell it and you're losing that property. And imagine you're having to sell that property and you start crying. And imagine you start crying and you fall out with the people that you're playing with. Imagine standing up and then hitting your head against the wall. And imagine starting to break your bangles if it's a baby. How silly does this sound? We can sit here today and laugh about this. But Guru Sikh Bharu, this life is no different to that board game. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying, just like you are playing that, these games within your life as you are growing up as a child, don't think of this world to be any different to that game that you played as a child. We get stuck within this game as well, this game of life. Many things, many ups and downs come within this life, but Guru Sikh Bharu, this isn't permanent, this isn't real. Just like Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji says, Jag rachna sab chut hai, jaan le ho re meet. Keh nalik thir na re, jo balu ki peet. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji saying, just like that wall made out of sand. That wall made out of sand, one day it will be knocked down. It is not permanent. Just like that, this body is made out of sand, it will be knocked down one day, it is not permanent. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj says, Main ho param purk ko da sa dekhan ayo jag tamasha Meaning, I am not engrossed, I am not entangled in this game of life. I have come to watch this game, Guru Sikh Pyaaryo. Pagat Kabir Ji says, Eh jo dunia seher mela Pagat Kabir Ji kaya nake kende, Eh jo dunia seher mela dast giri na hai Pagat Kabir Ji saying, Eh jo dunia, this world seher mela is just like when you go out to watch a show, like a magic show. Bhagat Gbhir Ji saying, Eh jo dunia seher mela dast giri na hai, dast giri meaning. The ten fingers upon these hands, das, dast, giri. Bhagat Gbhir Ji saying, the ten fingers that you have on these hands, meaning your hands. This world will not come within your hands. It will slip by, you cannot hold it down permanently. One day it will pass. No matter how much we attach to it, and we try and hold on to it. It's just like a magic show when we go out and watch a magic show. The magician is doing his tricks. And for that moment, we get caught in the moment and we think it's real. We really think it's making something disappear. We get caught in that moment thinking what we are watching before us is real. It's actually happening. He's made something disappear. But Guru Sikh Pyaryo, eventually we all come to realize, no, he's just a magician. And he's not really made something disappear, he's just tricking us. This world is just like that. It is not real. We get tricked in thinking it is real because we get so attached and engrossed into it. When we read our Bani in the morning, when we read Anand Sahib in the morning, Guru Amar Das Ji Ji says to us, Gur Prasadi Bujya Ta Chalt Hua Chalt Nadri Aya This word Chalt. Chalt also means show, this play, this game. Guru Amar Das Ji is saying, when the Guru does his grace upon us, Gur Prasadi, Gur Prasad means he, when the Guru, Prasad meaning grace, when the Guru does his grace on us, Gur Prasadi Bujya, then we'll understand this game. Then we'll be able to see through it. We'll realize what is the truth within this world. Gur Prasadi Bujya Ta Chalat Hoa, then we'll raise Ta Chalat Hoa. 
then it will be a show for us. Before it wasn't, before we thought it was real. Guru Sahib is saying, Ta, then. Ta chal to hoa. It becomes a show then. It wasn't a show, even though it is a show, but it's not for us because we still think it's real. Until we're attached, until we're stuck in this entanglement, then we think this is real. But then, Gur Prasadi Bujya Ta chal to hoa. Chal to nadri aya. Nadri means then we can see. Then we can see that this, no, this is a show. This isn't permanent. Everything we see before us will perish one day. This is what Bachitta Natik means. This Bani that Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is now going to put before us. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is now going to tell us about their own life. Says, Ab main apni katha bakhano, tap saadat jahe bid mohi ano. Hem kont parbat hai jahan, sapit sarang sobit hai tahan. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji starts to write this Bani of Bajitta Natik. They start to paint now the scenes of their life before us. This is Ab main apni katha bakhano bakhano means bakhyan karna kena to say. I'm going to tell you the story of my own life, Guru Gobind Singh Ji is saying. They're writing a biography here about themselves. So the saying, Ab main apni katha bakhano tap saadat jahe bid mohe ano. They're saying, how did I come here? How did I come upon this world? Tap saadat jahe bid mohe ano. Bid meaning way. What was I doing before I came here? Tap saadat. They're saying I was doing tapasya. I was sitting in meditation before they came in the body of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. They said I was sitting in meditation and then they even said where? This is Hem Kunt Parbat Hai Jahan. This is in that place called Hem Kunt. Parbat meaning mountain. They said I was sitting in a mountain called Hem Kunt and I was meditating there. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj said Hem Kunt Parbat Hai Jahan. Sapit Sareng Sobit Hai Tahan. Sapit meaning seven. Sapit Sareng. Sareng meaning peaks. Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, you will find seven peaks of mountains there where I sat and meditated before, before I came here. So Khar Guru Sikh Pyareo, over there, Guru Gobind Singh Ji is now telling about themselves where they are before they came here. And before they came here, what is happening? That Tarti is being, becoming ready for Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji to come and be born. That Tarti is called Patana Sahib. Who first went and got this Tarti ready? This place that is in Bihar. In southeast of India, Guru Sikh Pera Satarti Pei Hariyavali Jithe Mera Sat Guru Beta Ai. This place became completely green and blossomed where Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is born. But before they came, who went and got this Tarti, this place ready? Guru Sikh Pyaryo, Pai Mardana Ji, and Guru and Guru Nanaka Patsha Ji is walking towards this place of Patana Sahib. Pai Mardana Ji is walking. Guru Nanak Pach is going towards this place of Patana Sahib. Pai Mardana Ji is asking Guru Nanak Dev Ji many questions on, this, on the way to Patana Sahib. Pai Mardana Ji is saying, Oh Guru Nanak Pach Ji. Pai Mardana Ji can say, Hey Guru Nanak. Can they, yes, I know. Yes, I do feel hungry. Guru Nanak Pach I do sometimes run away from you to go and find food. But Hey Guru Nanak. Please bless me with what you have inside of you. Jithe oong na pok hai. Where there is no oong, where there is no sleep, where there is no pok, where there is no desire, where there is no hunger. Make me completely desireless, Guru Nanak. What are you eating that I haven't got yet? And Guru Nanak Pacha Ji smiled and says, Mardanya, tu sat karta har da naam da peha kar. Sat meaning the truth, Kartar meaning the crater. They say just meditate and jap his naam. You will become desireless too. And they are walking and having these conversations. And then they reach this place which today we know as Patana Sahib wasn't called Patana Sahib then. When Guru Nanak Pacha Mardana Ji reach this place, they go and meet who they meet, go and meet somebody called Sal Sarai Johari, who was a trader, Jira Parkadasaga Hireanu, who had the eye to be able to see a true diamond. First, Guru Nanak, I'm not going to go into the Sakhi in detail of this because we've got many things to go through today. First, the servant of Salsrai Jauri, who is called Adraka, he came and met Guru Nanak Pacha Ji first. Because when Mardana Ji came, they came with a stone with a, 
with a particular stone. Whether it was a gem, whether it was a diamond, we can call it. He came with the stone to the shop of Sal Sarai Jauri. He went to many shops first. He was trying to sell this precious stone that Guru Nanak Pacha gave to Mardana. He went to a Sabji Amani Dukan and somebody tried to give him a, a gajar for it. Somebody tried to give him a mulli for it. And then he went on. He went to a Kapadhe Andi Dukan. He went to a shop where they sell clothes. By Mardani, Mardana Ji went in and they said, we'll give you a certain amount of kapada for it. A certain amount of cloth for it. And Pai Mardana Ji said, if he was only giving me gajar, if he was only giving me mulli, and now he's giving me a bit of cloth which is actually worth a lot more, surely I must be able to get more than this. He carries on and even now reaches the Khan of a Sanyara, somebody that deals in gold. This person is ready to give him gold for this stone. Mardana Ji didn't stop there, he carries on. Upon reaching the place where Salsarai Jauri, Jauri meaning somebody that trades in diamonds, somebody that has got the eye to be able to see a karaya ke khotaya. Kara meaning true, kara meaning false. Salsarai Jauri had the eye. Soon as he saw this stone, he stepped back. Bhai Mardana Ji says, what will you give for it? And Salsarai Jauri says, what will I give for it? Because first of all, he put his head down to it. He put his head down to it, then matat it towards that stone. He says, I've never seen anything like it. And then he gave a hundred rupees of them days. Of roughly 550 years ago, he gave, five, he gave 100 rupees, which today is worth thousands. And he says, this is darshan peta. I, am not, I cannot afford to buy this from you. This is just to see, to do darshan of this stone. But Mardana Ji happily takes the hundred rupees and he still got the stone and thinks lottery lagay. Bhai Mardana Ji runs back to Guru Nanak Pacha and says, Guru Nanak Pacha and says, look, I've still got the stone and I've got a hundred rupees. We've hit the lottery, Guru Nanak Pacha, Mardana Ji saying. Guru Nanak Pacha says, that's brilliant. This is, but go back. Go and give his hundred rupees back. We are not going to keep it for free like this. But Mardana Ji is looking at Guru Nanak Pacha and thinking, seriously, do I have to go back? But Khair Guru Sikh Pai Mardana Ji goes back. When Pai Mardana Ji goes back to the shop of Sal Sarai Johari, when he says that my Guru will not take this money, and Sal Sarai Johari said, I thought this stone was amazing, but no, your Guru is amazing. I've never met anybody like this that has returned money back. Whoever comes, they're all after this money. I've never, met, I've never met a true saint up until today. Now I know that why is this stone so precious? Because the person that owns it is so precious. And he says to his servant, he says, Oh Adraka, he says, go, take some milk for this Guru and I will follow. Guru Sikh Pera, when Adraka reaches the charan of Guru Nanak Padsha, oh Guru Nanak Padsha da ban ke hi rah gaya. He became Guru Nanak's. Upon seeing Guru Nanak Padsha ji once, Adraka did. And when Salsarai Jauri came to Guru Nanak Padsha, Guru Nanak Padsha said, You have been able to That you've been able to look and been able to tell about many diamonds if they're true or false. And Guru Nanak Padsha said, You have been able to tell about many diamonds if they're true or false. Nanak Padsha said, You have been able to tell about many diamonds if they're true or false. Nanak Padsha said, You have you ever tested yourself to see if you are true or if you are false? Have you ever been able to look inside of you? Because what is this diamond saying to the world? Guru Nanak is saying your life, this human life, is like a diamond, is very rare. It doesn't come by very often. But many people, they sell it very cheaply. Just like when Pai Mardana Ji for that diamond was getting Gajra Mulia. Some people their whole life waste this life in Nasha. Intoxicated in Shrab, intoxicated in smoking. And then some people, they get a little bit more back in this life. Some people are selling it for kapra worth. Kapra meaning they go out and get a good job. They go out and educate their children. They give them good sanskar. Yes, they teach them how to speak well. But Guru Sikh Pair, they've still sold it too cheap. Not until when you realize what this diamond, this life is truly for. Hire jaisa janam hai kaudi badle jai. 
We sell it for worth chowls when it's worth so much. It's like a diamond this life is, Guru Nanak Pacha is saying to Sal Sarai Jauri. Look at your life, it's more precious than even a diamond that you've been looking at all your life. Look inside of you. If you learn to judge yourself, then you are known to be a true judge, Guru Nanak Pacha is saying. Realize what you are truly here for. You are here to meditate upon Vaheguru Akal Purkaji's name. You are here to connect back with your Creator. Guru Nanak Pacha, bless this place of Patna Sahib. And then as Guru Nanak Pacha is about to leave, Guru Nanak Pacha then makes the Jathedar of this place, the leader of the Sangat, who leads the Sangat. Who does Guru Nanak Pacha choose to lead the Sangat? The servant of Sal Sarai Jauri, Adraka. People are taken back. How are now people going to sit in front and put their head down to a servant? As Guru Nanak Pacha is leaving, Sal Sarai Jauri says, says, Maharaj, how do I break this inner wall of ego? How, do, how am I able to surrender myself? And Guru Nanak Pacha can they Ho ho ho, sabna ki rehna ka ta Ao hamare paas Guru Nanak Pacha says you must become the dust of all Ho ho sabna ki rehna ka Rehna ka meaning dust Can they sabna di everybody's and Guru Nanak Pacha is saying this to Salsarai Jauri And Salsarai Jauri is saying Oh Maharaj, then what must I do? Guru Nanak Pacha says the Jathidar of your Sangat is Adraka. He sits before you. He is now imbued in Wahiguruji Akal Purkaji's name. It doesn't matter what status he has in life, but if you become even the dust of him, Das the Santan Paetin Paya. If you become the servant of the servants, Das the Santan Paetin Paya, then you will attain Wahiguruji Akal Purk. And Gursik Pyareo. And then what did Salsarai Jauri do there? He fell at the feet of his servant. He became the dust. He took the dust of his servant's feet. Ho ho sabna ki ka to odi bhi kapat khol ge. And even his inner wall of ego was broken inside. And then as Guru Nanak Pach is leaving, Salsarai Jauri calls back Maharaj again. Says, Maharaj, don't go. His, his eyes are filled with tears. Rolling down with tears. And he's saying, Maharaji, na jau to see. I won't be able to bear to live without you now. And Guru Nanak Pacha kende, tum fikr na ka, don't worry. Ma tere naal aake khulla sama gazaranga. This is, I'll come and stay here for a long period. Othe ashara kita, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj wa. That's the place where Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Pacha came and was born Guru Sikh Pyaareo. Patna Sai Pella Jake Uthe Guru Nanak Pacha Ne Ustar Tino Jake Pavitra Kitta Uthe Hariyavali Kitti Uthe Tarti Went and made this Tarti Blossom Khair Guru Sikh Pyaareo When we look at this Shabad further This same Shabad Sa Tarti Pai Hariyavali Jithe Mera Sat Guru Pethha Aay Se Jant Pai Hariyavali Jini Mera Sat Guru Dekhya Jai Those Jant, those creatures, those human beings they become se jant pe hariyavale not only did the tarti blossom but even the hearts of the people of that place started to blossom when they saw Guru Nanak Patsa. Se jant pe hariyavale jini mera satkur dekhya jai who saw dekhya jini Guru Nanak Patsa no dekhya ite tan tan pita tan tan pita tan tan kol tan tan so janani jini Guru janaya maay Guru Sikh pe hariyo Tan Tan Pita Who is the father of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj? Tan Tan Pita Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Who we looked at last week Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj is meditating in Bakala As we went through last week They've been there for oh, between 22 and 25 years But when Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji was sat on the Gurgaddi And they left this place of Bakala And they went and visited many Guru's houses Jithe Jithe Guru Sahiba Ne Pehle Guru Aane Apne Charn Paai Sa Othe Pehla Pehla Ja Ke Guru Teh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Othe Gaya Ne And then Somebody called Raja Tara Chand He sends a letter to Guru Teh Bahadur Ji Maharaj To come and visit Guru Teh Bahadur Ji This is the same Raja Tara Chand If you can remember back to Our sixth week, week of Guru Hargobin Sahib Ji Padshah Who gave Who generate Kiti Si Ki Oho Jameen In Kirtpur Sahib it's that same Raja. He has now sent a letter to Guru Teh Bahadur Ji Maharaj 
to come and visit them. When Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji receives this letter, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji starts to go that direction. As they are going to that direction, Tara Chand, before Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji could reach there, he passes away. And Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji go and visit his wife, whose name was Rani Champa. They had a 10 years old son by then, whose name was Raja Pim Chand. Their son is the same Raja Raja Pim Chand who turned against Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji later on. When the first jang was shamal hoya sa pangani di jang jari ladiya Maharaj ne paunta sahib de tarti upar. Khair, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji is gone now to this place. And Rani Champa is saying to Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj, I would like to donate three villages to you. I'd like to put them in your name. And Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji looks far ahead and thinks this is not going to be right if I let them give this to me. So Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji says, I like this place. The air is fresh here. There's mountains you can see. The Sadluj is flowing here. It's very beautiful here, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji said this is, but I won't take this as a donation. They said, I'll actually pay you for it. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji, our history writes, these three pens. Molkridi means Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji paid 2,200 rupees for this land. And this land then Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji called it Chak Nanaki, which today we know as Anandpur Sahib, where Guru Govind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji spent most of the years of their life. Guru Sikh Pairo, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji has bought this area and they've started to establish this area now. Fair Chittiyan Anya Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj No Maharaj Ji has now been sent more letters from like we've just discussed from Bihar, from south east of India, from Patana Sai for Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji to visit this place. They've only just established the Nand Prasad for Guru Maharaj Ne Othe Sangita Di Benti Parwan Karke Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji Othe Torpe Ne. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji has now left Nand Prasad, established in Nand Prasad they have left and who is with them? The wife of Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj is with Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj. Eh hun, aithe nu Patana Sahib aay ne. As they come to Patana Sahib Guru Sikh Pyaryom, when then Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj again is called to resolve some problems and affairs amongst the, the Rajas and the Mughals at that time. But Guru Tegh Bahadur is now travelled further out east from Patana Sahib. Mata Gujri stays there. With Mama Kripal Chand, who becomes the Mama Ji of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, who is the brother of Mata Gujri. And many Gur Sikhs are with Mata Gujri here. Pai Diyala Ji is with Mata Gujri Ji here. Pai Diyala Ji, Jenano, Degan Vicho Baliya Gya. The ones that were boiled alive in the pots with Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, they are here now with Mata Gujri, Pai Diyala Ji. But Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj had to go out further. And during this time, Guru Sikh Pyare, when Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji went, Look how many years it's been since they've been married. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj is now roughly at the age of about 45. They've been married since they're only about 11, 12 years old. And remember, they haven't had a child for all these years. Many years have gone past. And now Guru Sikh Pyare, when Mata Gujri Ji is expecting a child, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, completely detached from the world's ways, if Guru, Go, if Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji has written such bani that is completely showing us detachment from the world. If they are saying to us, that this is all false what we see before our eyes. And Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji showed that they were completely detached from the world. Mata Gujri is expecting a child and Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji is being called by Sangat and they still leave Patana Sahib. And now they go to a place called Taka. Taka, which is now in the capital of Bangladesh now. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj is gone there. Tan, tan, pita. Just to look at whose house Guru Sikh Pyaryo is Guru Govind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji coming into. A father like Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji whose name is the sword Tegh Bahadur, the warrior of the sword. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji, that guru that used the sword like we looked at last week in the Kartalpur Di Jang in the fourth battle. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji, only not did they use a sword, 
But a time came in 1675 when Guru Tegh Bahadur sat there calmly and they took the sword as well. Guru Tegh Bahadur knew how to use that sword, Tegh. Their name was Tegh. And Guru Sikh Pyaryo, such a son was born into the house that they had so much love for the Tegh, for the weapon, weapons. At the last moment of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj's life, when Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji Sreer Karke is Dunya Nu Shadke again, when Guru Ma Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji left their body, and when they rode their horse towards the pair of fire, and when the Sikhs went to look to find Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji's ashes, what did they find? They only found a karpan, a small karpan that was in there, the star of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. Look where this journey started from of the karpan. How much love did Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj have for this karpan? Where did this journey come from? That Miri Piri De Malik, their grandfather, sat on the throne. Do talwara baddiya ek Miri di, ek Piri di. Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji wear two karpana. They call their son a karpan teg. And look at this journey. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji, je akhirli nishani shadi ke gaye. If they left a last sign, they can only find a karpan. That was in the star in the pair of fire. Tan tan pita, tan tan kol. Tan tan pita, tan tan kol. That kol, that family that Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji came into. That kol, that family that Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji came into. That kol of Mata Pani Ji, who we've looked at before as well. Mata Pani Ji, Guru Sikh Pyaryo, the door of Guru Amar Das Ji Paatsha. Tan tan pita, tan tan kol, that family where, which family did Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji come to? Which started from Mata Pani Ji, who like I said before, whose, whose father was a Guru, Guru Amar Das Ji Paatsha, whose husband Guru Ram Das Ji Paatsha Ji was a Guru, whose son Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatsha was a Guru, whose grandson Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji Paatsha was a Guru. Guru Sikh Pera, this is Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj's family that they've come into. Tan tan pita, tan tan kol, tan tan so janani, jan guru janaya mai. Guru Sikh Pera, let us go back now. Where Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji has been meditating for all that time. And they write in their own words saying, Eh bid kart tapasya peo dvate ek roop hawae geo. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji said, I continued meditating. This is Ehbid Karta Tapasya Peo. Can they devate ek roop havae geo? They said there was two. Dava meaning two. Can they was meditating? There was me, there was Gobind Singh, and there was Vaheguru Akal Purk. This is I meditated upon his name so much. Ehbid Karta Tapasya Peo. Can they devate ek roop havae geo? They said there was no difference left between me and Vaheguru. Just like Gurbani says, Tohi Mohi, Mohi Tohi Antar Kaisa. This is this Tohi Mohi. This is this you and me. Tohi Mohi, Mohi Tohi, me and you. This is Antar Kaisa truly. Pagat Sa saying, this is what is the difference. It is just Tohi. There is only you. There is no me. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paatsha is meditating. And now they become one with the Kala Purkhwai Guru. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pyareo, that complete oneness now they are living in and then they go on to say in that same Bani this is when now Kalpur Kawai Guruji said your meditation is complete now are you to go upon the earth and start a panth and start such a righteous path that is going to be the savory of the world and Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj says this is at that moment when I was told to go Guru Gobind Singh Ji can look again, Chitna Peo Hamro Aavan Kehe This is, I didn't feel like to come. Chitna Peo. And I didn't feel like to leave that moment and come upon this earth. Guru Gobind Singh Ji is writing himself. This is, Chitna Peo Hamro Aavan Kehe Why? Chubi Rehi Surat Prab Charnan Mehe This is because now I was completely absorbed in the charan in the lotus feet of Akal Purk Vahe Guru. Chubi. Jado koi chihi chub jave kese vech. When something is completely absorbed into something. Chubi rahi srota my sorti. My tiyan. Is completely now focused in Vaigruji's charan. I don't, I didn't feel like coming here. And Guru Sikh Pyaryo just looking at this pangti a little bit before we go on further. That chubi rahi srota prab charnan mein hai. How much was it absorbed, their sorti? 
How much was Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj's mind absorbed into the charan of a Kalpurk Wahiguru to such an extent that when Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji came at the age of nine and then they had to send their father when Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji came at the age of nine and sent their father to be gone be shaheed and when they heard the story, when they heard the message that Guru Teh Bahadur Ji Maharaj has become shaheed Guru Sikh Piyareo of a nine year old age when Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji dole nahi why because chubi rahi isrot prab charnan mein because they were completely absorbed in the charan of a Kaal Purkh Waiguru did they they not for once did they waver this way or did they waver that way? Not once did they cry to think what has happened to my father now because why? Chubi rahi srot prab charnan mein a time came on Sarsa Nadi when the family separated the water came up the shabs are they went one way the other shabs are they went the other way Guru Sikh Pere Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji go on to Chamkor Gadi when Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji go into Chamkor Gadi they are standing at the top at the rooftop at the Mamati as they call it Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji is watching Baba Jujar Singh Ji being Shaheed Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji first watched Baba Ajit Singh Ji being Shaheed but not once did they dawn, not once did they waver, not once did a tear come upon their eyes. Why? Because Chubi Rahi Srot Prab Charnan Meh Because they were absorbed into Charan of Akal Purk Wahiguru. Guru Sikh Pyaro, a time came when Nura Mahi came. A messenger called Nura Mahi came to Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji says, put your head up and tell me what message have you bought for me. Nura Mahi says, Maharaj Ji, I can't speak. And he had his face covered. He's got his hands in front of his face. And Guru Nanak Pacha said, You don't care, you don't care. What message have you brought back for me? And Nura Mahi is crying and saying, Maharaj. And he says, You are the short of the Lord. And saying, Oh Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. You are the short of the Lord. You are the short of the Lord. Even your Mata Ji has been shaheed. Even your two younger sons, which were at the age of five and seven. Your mother at such an elderly age, she was sat there in a thanda burj in a cold store. And even she has become shaheed, he couldn't even tell this to Guru Maharaj. But even then, not once did Maharaj's eyes fill with tears. Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Guru Sikh Pyaryo, they are still, why did their eyes fill with tears? Why didn't they waver even then? Because chubi rahi surat prab charnan mein, just like they said, that surti, the mind was so engrossed. So imbued in love with the charan of Akal Purk Waiguru, if that was their state in Hemkund Sahib, that state didn't ever come to an end. No matter what they heard in their life throughout their journey, their mind remained focused in Waiguru Akal Purk Ji's charan. They didn't waver at all, not once. Khal Guru Sipyari coming back, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj says, Chit na peo, hamro avan kehe, chubi rai surut prab charnan meh, jyotyo prab ham ko samajayo, ਇਹ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਲੋਕ ਪਠਾਇਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਿੰਘ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਿਉ ਤਿਉ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਹਮ ਕੋ ਸਮਝਾਓ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਐਜ਼ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਜੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਵੈਨ ਆ ਕਮ ਅਪਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਇਮ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਲੋਕ ਪਠਾਇਓ ਐਜ਼ ਦੇ ਸੈਂਟ ਮੀ ਅਪਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਡ ਏਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਅਤ ਦੀ ਨਿਮਰਤਾ ਦਿਖਾਉਂਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸ਼ੋਜ਼ ਦਾ ਲਿਮਿਟਸ ਆਫ ਨਿਮਰਤਾ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਵਾਟ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਬਾਚ ਇਸ ਕੀਟ ਪ੍ਰਤ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਬਾਚ ਇਸ ਕੀਟ ਪ੍ਰਤ ਇਟ ਸੇਸ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਥੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਟੂ ਹੂ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਬੀਨਿੰਗ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਬਾਚ ਬਾਚ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਬਚਨ ਵਰਡਸ ਬਾਚ ਇਸ ਕੀਟ ਪ੍ਰਤ ਪ੍ਰਤ ਕੀਟ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਵਰਮ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਦ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਸੈਡ ਥੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਮ ਦਟ ਲੋਲੀ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਦੇ ਕਾਲਿੰਗ ਥੈਮ ਸੈਲਵਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ and then guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji then they narrate that conversation that took place what were the words they're saying that they why guru ji said to this worm because these are the words they used and this is thaad peo main jor kar bachan ka sir ne aaye and guru gobind singh ji described this is thaad peo thaad meaning standing up thaad peo main jor kar kar meaning hands they said i had my hands clasped together Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji Singh I had my hands together showing complete humility kande thaad peo main jor kar bachan kaha sir ne aaye kande as i was speaking to wahiguru ji akal purakh they said i had my head down bachan kaha sir ne aaye kande main sir neema karke 
ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਿਰ ਨੀਵਾ ਸੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ what was the conversation that took place ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਠਾੜ ਪਿਓ ਮੈਂ ਜੋਰ ਕਰ ਬਚਨ ਕਾ ਸਿਰ ਨਿਆਏ ਪੰਥ ਚਲੇ ਤਬ ਜਗਤ ਮੈਂ ਜਬ ਤੁਮ ਕਰਹੋ ਸਹਾਏ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਓਨਲੀ ਗੋ ਵੈਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਾਰਜ ਸੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਬਿਸਾਈਡ ਮਾਈ ਵੇ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ देयर ਬਿਸਾਈਡ ਮੀ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਵਿਦ ਈਚ ਬ੍ਰੈਥ ਆ ਟੇਕ ਓ ਕਾਲਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਲੀਵ ਮੀ ਈਵਨ ਫॉर ਵਨ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਦੈਨ ਆ ਵਿਲ ਗੋ ਹੈਪਲੀ they are saying panth chale tab jagat mein this is i will go and start this panth this righteous path only if you are with me every breath of the way guru gobind singh ji maharaj said to wahguru ji akalpurk they said i had this conversation before i came and then guru gobind singh ji maharaj going to say this is main apna sut tohe nivaja this is then wahguru ji akalpurk made me into their son this is wahguru ji said main apna sut tohe nivaja this is sut meaning son ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੇ ਦਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਉਹ ਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਭੇਜਿਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਸੁਤ ਤੋਹੇ ਨਿਵਾਜਾ ਪੰਥ ਪ੍ਰਚੁਰ ਕਰ ਬੇ ਕੋ ਸਾਜਾ ਇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮੇਡ ਮੀ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਸਨ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਰ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਰਾਈਚਸ ਪਾਥ ਪੰਥ ਪ੍ਰਚੁਰ ਕਰ ਬੇ ਕੋ ਸਾਜਾ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਗੇਟ ਥਿਸ ਪਾਥ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਾਏ ਤਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਧਰਮ ਚਲਾਏ ਇੱਕ ਬੁੱਧ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਲੋਕ ਹਟਾਏ can they why are they wanting me to start this path off this panth off because they say kabud karan te log hataye this says they want me to go and stop people from sinning because the people are drowning now there's no compassion left guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji saying main apna sut tohe nivaja can they akal purkh ne mainu apna sut bana liya mainu ek putra bana ke bheja is dharti upar guru sikh pyareo guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji is ready is coming getting ready to come upon the world and now guru te bahadur ji maharaj ji amrit vele da sama It's now the time of Amrit Vela. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj is saying in Dhaka in now which is Bangladesh. And Mata Gujri is now in Patna Sahib. Around Mata Gujri. Guru Sikh Pyaru is Mata Nanaki. That same Mata Nanaki which is the grandmother of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. The same daughter-in-law and mother-in-law that stayed for 25 years in Bakala when Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj Ji when they used to sit in meditation. and they are there now waiting for this moment after so many years guru tegh bahadur ji maharaj is sitting there listening to kirtan and suddenly guru tegh bahadur ji maharaj ji always used to be very serious throughout their life but today the sikh see, see, see something completely different they see guru tegh bahadur ji maharaj ji's chehra completely change and pai veer singh writes this so beautifully pai veer singh ji likhde ne ke guru tegh bahadur ji maharaj de chehre upar ek muskurahat aa gayi they are smiling ਤਾਂ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਰਹਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਤਾਂ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੇ ਪੁੱਛ ਲਿਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਤਾਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਪੁੱਛਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਤੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਹੀ ਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇ ਪਾਦ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਵਾਰ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਯੋਰ ਸਮਾਈਲ ਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇ ਪਾਦ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਸ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਦਸਵਾਂ ਜਾਮਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਸ ਧਰਤੀ ਉੱਪਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਦ 10th ਫੋਰਮ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਪਾਸ ਹੈਜ਼ ਨਾਓ ਕਮ ਅਪਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਹੈ ਸਮਾਈਲ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸਿੱਖਸ ਗੇਟ ਹੈਪੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦੇ ਨਾਓ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ ਤਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸਨ ਮਸਟ ਜਸਟ ਹੈ ਬੋਰਨ ਨਾਓ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰਗਟ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਹੁਣ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਆਜ਼ ਦ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਗ ਇਨ ਹੈਪੀ ਇੱਕ ਦਮ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਚਿਹਰਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਹ ਬਦਲ ਗਿਆ ਦ ਸਿੱਖ ਚਿਹਰਾ ਚੇਂਜ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸੇਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਡਸ ਦਿਸ ਮੀਨ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗਨ ਲੀਵ ਅਸ ਨਾਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਹੱਸ ਕੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਿੱਖੋ ਹੱਲੇ ਫਿਕਰ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਮਾ ਗਉਂਗੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਰੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੱਲੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਬਾਲ ਚੋਜ ਕਰਨੇ ਨੇ ਬੜੇ is going to do many things in his youth yet in his childhood don't worry i'm here i'm still here for you guru tegh bahadur ji maharaj ji kehn lage othe guru sikh pyareo othe guru gobind singh ji padshah in 66 1666 guru gobind singh ji padshah come upon the pavitra dharti of patna sahib just like within their own bani they're saying tehi prakash hamara peo patna sahib bikhe pav leo pav meaning birth guru gobind singh ji padshah saying themselves that they came upon the place of patana sahib
Pekinshire is now a fakir, a Muslim saint, is now traveling towards the direction of Patana Sahib, towards the direction of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. The direction he used to pray, he stopped praying that way. And he started to do Matha take the other direction. And everyone asked him, why do you pray now this direction? He says, because who I pray to has come upon this earth. He had that pull, that pull of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, the energy is pulling Peek Kanshah towards them. As Peek Kanshah is walking towards Patana Sahib, it took him many months. Many months later, when he reaches Guru Sikh Pyareo, and he comes upon the door of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj's house. That same house Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is born, where Guru, Gobind, where Guru Nanak Paatshah Ji went to Salsarai Jauri's house is where Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paatshah Ji came. When P. Kanshah reached the house and the door, and who comes out? Mama Kirpal Chanda, the Mama Ji. The maternal uncle of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paatshah comes out and they say to the P. Kanshah, because many saints used to come. I remember many fakes used to come too. That, Mama Kripal Chand can look again to see that the so sad day lack who save us. Tell us some save that we can do for you. How can we serve you? And he says, I have come for the darshan of what has pulled me towards this direction. Because somebody was born seven to eight months ago that has brought me here. He goes, I come for his vision. Because Mira under Tarfadayos, Una de Darshana Vaste, Mama Kripal Chand goes back inside on the Salakiti and they ask Mata Nanaki. And they asked Mata Gujri, they said, is it alright if I bring him in? And they said, Kene pata nahi hunda. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj isn't here as well, we shouldn't risk anything. Take these clothes for him. Take these gane for him. He will be happy with these. If you take this gold for him, if you take these clothes for him, he'll be happy with this. Mama Kripal Chanji comes out. Mama Kripal Chanji says, this is, we are willing to give you anything you want. But at the moment, we are not able to give you darshan of Gobind Rai. And Guru Sikh Pihariyo. And he said, what have you bought? And they said, oh, and Mama Kripal Chanji says, I bought some clothes for you. Aithe Guru Sikh Pihariyo, Peek Khanshah ne kain lagga, Kamal de bachan aithe aake, Peek Khanshah says something amazing here. He says, you want to give me these clothes? Okay. You are asking me, is there anything else I would like? And he said, if you've got anything equivalent to the darshan of Allah, then pre please bring that out for me. He said, is there anything equivalent to the darshan of seeing Allah himself? He says, then I will be satisfied and I will go back my way. Muhammad Karpal puts his head down and doesn't know what to say. Peek and Shah goes and sits down. Mama Kripal Chanji says, I will bring something to eat for you. Peek and Shah says, I will not eat now until I do darshan of this child. He sits outside. He refuses to eat until he gets darshan. Mama Kripal Chan goes inside. He says, Mataji, he says to his sister, Mata, to Mata Gujri, he said, he doesn't seem like a fake. He said he refuses to eat. I've never heard words like this said before. We, sh we should bring out Guru Gobind Singh Ji. We should bring out Gobind Rai to him. Guru Sikh Bera, as they have brought Gobind Rai out, B. Kanshah runs over, takes the beautiful Charan Kamal, the Charan, the lotus feet of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pacha, eight months of age, and he puts it on his mustak, puts it on his forehead. B. Kanshah has two pots with him. He puts one pot on one hand, the other on the other hand. One has milk in it, and the other has water in it. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, the Aggerke, he puts the pots forward. And within his mind, he is saying that the milk represents the Hindu faith, and the water represents the, the Muslim faith. And whoever he touches, that's who he has come for in aid of. And B. Kanshah then puts the pots down. As he puts them on the tarti and brings Gobind Rai down, Gobind Rai doesn't only touch the pots, Gursik Pyaryo, Gobind Rai takes the pots and throws them over. As the pots fall over, the milk and the water start to merge into each other. Gursik Pyaryo, you couldn't see the water anymore. You could only see the milk. And Pekan Shah, Ronala Pya, 
and he sa- turns around to his servants and he said, I was a fool that I started to test the Guru. He said he has come in aid for everyone. He has come for the whole of humanity. By touching both parts doesn't only mean that he's here for the whole of humanity. By touching and throwing these parts over, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is telling people. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying, doesn't matter what faith you belong to. You might be white, you might be transparent, you might be black, you might be green, you might be yellow. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what label you have from the outside. Because always remember, Namastang Amajabe. Because He has no religion, Akal Purk Vaheguru. Oh, Majab tu vi duriya. Namastang a tarmang. Tarmang, that righteous way of life. Oh, koi tarma de adin nahi. He's even beyond any religion. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying to the world when there are eight months. The same Guru Sikh Pero rip these labels off within your minds of separation. Don't separate, segregate yourself thinking you are higher, this is lower. Don't discriminate against each other. Can the opposite within the human race? Can they itna pyar hove? You must have so much love amongst each other that you should be more absorbed and mix into each other just like this water and milk have. Break away this param, this illusion, this doubt that you have in these minds that you are different. You are all one, just like they have become one, this water and the milk have. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying. Live with so much love, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is telling people the future. They said, my father, they said he will live just like this. Re maane, aisi harsi ho preetkar, jaisi jal dud hoi. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pacha is telling the people through this sakhi. This is if you want to love Vaheguru Ji Akal Purk, then love Vaheguru Ji Akal Purk just like the, just like the water love the milk. Kande re maane, aisi harsi ho preetkar, jaisi jal dud hoi. Avatan ape khave, dud ko khapan na dhe. Guru Nanak Pacha Ji's Bani in Siri Rak. Guru Nanak Pacha is saying, Can they, if you want to love, if you want to love Vaheguru Ji Akal Puruk, then love Vaheguru Ji just like the water love the milk. And we'll ask how. What type of example is this? Guru Sikh Pyaru Guru Nanak Pacha Ji came into a room. Guru Nanak Pacha Ji sees somebody picking up a pot. They take a pot to heat up the milk. But just before the heat of the milk, they put some water in to rinse the pot. They put some water into the pot and they take the water out. But Fevi thoda japani ragya, as you all know, if you when you warm things up at home. They put water into that pot. They put it on to be heated up. And Guru Nanak Pacha is looking towards that milk. Guru Sikh Pyaryo, Kehoji Pyardi Murt Guru Nanak. Look how Guru Nanak Pacha sees the world. Guru Nanak Pacha, the form of love, how does he see the world? He says, Re man, Asi, Guru Nanak Pacha, Ewe bani o char, desan Guru Nanak Pacha. Guru Nanak Pacha would see something in life and they would then start saying, Bani, Jasi me ave, Kasam ki bani. Kasam di bani came at this moment when this milk has been heated up. Guru Nanak Pacha says, Love, Why Guruji in this manner. This is, Look at the water. This is, A vatan ape khave. Somebody said to the water, this is why are you leaving the milk? The water was being evaporated. And somebody said to the water, why are you leaving the milk to burn? And the water said, this says, look further into this. The water is saying, I didn't leave until there was nothing left of me. And the water is saying, when I became, when, there was, when I was completely burnt, when I was completely heated, when I tolerated all the heat upon myself, I didn't let the milk be touched even once until I started to be evaporated. Only now I've completely surrendered my complete self for the love of the milk. Whilst I was there, that heat wasn't able to touch the milk. Only now the milk st- will start to be heated. And now the milk will start to burn. I can't tolerate to see this. I can't bear to see this. That's why I'm leaving because I can't do any more. Overflowed, overflowed and then even the fire went dim because the milk couldn't bear to see what the heat had done to the water. Guru Nanak Pacha saying love Vaheguru Ji in this manner. 
Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, my father would do this. He says, my father, just like he can't see the water anymore, my father will sacrifice himself for another dharam one day for the love of humanity. Live life like this. This is what the Sakhi is telling us. Guru Sikh Pyaryo, as time went, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is getting older. Guru Gobind Singh Ji, keho jiya khedda khed de ne. What type of, type of games is Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj playing? Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj starts to form armies. With their friends, they get loads of friends together. Do jathe pana de ne. They would make two groups. And what did they used to do? They would try and get as much wood and straws together as they could. And they'd make bow and arrows. And they'd, get, they'd make arrows out of these straws. They'd get soft wood and bend the bows round. And they'd get them to fight each other. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji would sit back and watch them. Like a Jathedar from a young age. Like the leader of the army from, the, from a young age, Guru Maharaj Ji, used to do these type of Kothak. And what are they showing the world? They're saying, they're showing the world from a young age, the love for Shastar. Askarpan khando khadg, topak tabar artir, saaf sarohi saafi, yeh hamare peer. Guru Gobind Singh Ji saying, inna pyaar Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji no Shastra waaste, a whole bani, they put in name of Shastar, Shastar na mala in Siri Dasam Gran Sahib Ji. They dedicated a whole bani just for Shastars in Siri Dasam Gran Sahib Ji, Guru Sikh Pyaar Ho. Guru Gobind Singh Ji started this at the age of only about three to four years old. And then a time came. A time came and Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is now getting very mischievous. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji would get a slingshot. They'd get stones, they'd get a slingshot and they started breaking kare. As women would go and fill water from the wells. And they would have these pots, these pictures on their head. And as they're walking across back to home, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji, four years old, Guru Sikh Pyaru would break their pictures and the water would spill out. Guru Sikh Pyaru, this wasn't, they weren't just playing games. Why is Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji telling us, telling the world? They're saying, oh Guru Sikh Pyaru, this is remember one day. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji telling us, kende kende kaha bisasa, is pande ka, itna ka lage thand ka. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pahacha telling us, kende kaha bisasa. Can they have you any faith within this body? Can they just like that picture is made out of clay? This is I'm breaking it again and again to remind you that this body is not going to remain in one day. It will break just like that pot. They're saying, Kaha bisasa, what faith have you got? Kaha bisasa, is a pande ka. This is a panda as well. This is just like that picture Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is saying. This is itna kala ge thanka. This is the bani of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. Can they inna thanka lagna? One day it's just going to take a little flicker. Remember one thing. That today people might have made Pandey today that are unbreakable. But this Sareer isn't. In it, tutana hi tutana hai kadeh. No matter what Guru Gobind Singh Ji is reminding people. Don't think that this body is going to remain, Guru Gobind Singh Ji is saying. And another thing, our history writes that one of the days when a woman, when a baby, when she found that there was a snake in her picture. And that's why Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji broke it. Because she came complain, complaining to Mother Gudri. She says, look what your law, look what he's doing, he's breaking everything, he's breaking all our pots. And when they looked inside, they saw a, they saw a, a snake that poisoned the water. Guru, Narik, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pacha is saying to the world, he says, remember this. Can they, maya hui nagani jagat rahi laptaye? Can they, there is a snake of maya running in through our lives too. This illusion is poisoning ourselves as well. Our spiritual journey. It is robbing, it is poisoning our qualities. Our qualities that help us to merge back with Vaheguru. Guru Gobind Singh Ji is saying, don't let the snake of Maya get into your body. Don't let this snake of Maya rob your virtues. Remain alert. And Guru Sikh Pyaru, what else is Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji teaching us through this? When Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pacha is breaking this kada again and again, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji Kende, if you come to the Guru, the Guru will do what? Guru Pet Punita. When you meet the Guru, he will make you pure. Guru Sikh Pero Pannan Karan Samrat Hai. He breaks us. What does that mean? He breaks our old habits. Guru Gobind Singh Ji, our breaking our karam. They are not just breaking these pots. They are breaking our old habits, our karam. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji, apne karam tod de ne. Je koi Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji, kol aaj bhi koi chal jave. Oho. 
ਉਹ ਭਣ ਕੇ ਰੱਖ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਕ੍ਰੋਧ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਉਹ ਭਣ ਕੇ ਰੱਖ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਕਾਮ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਉਹ ਭਣ ਕੇ ਰੱਖ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਲੋਭ ਭੰਨਣ ਘੜਨ ਘੜਨ ਮੀਨਸ ਦੈਨ ਹੀ ਵਿਲ ਖਾਵਸ ਹੀ ਵਿਲ ਦੈਨ ਫਿਲਸ ਵਿਦ ਵਰਚੂਸ ਘੜਨ ਬਟ ਰੈਮਬਰ ਇਟ ਟੇਕਸ ਇਟ ਟੇਕਸ ਸਮ ਬ੍ਰੇਵਰੀ ਟੂ ਲੈਟ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਟੂ ਖਾਵਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਇਟ ਹਰਟਸ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਇਨ ਚਿਜ਼ਲਡ ਜੇ ਗੁਰ ਝੜਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਮੀਠਾ ਲਾਗੇ ਇਟ ਮਾਈ ਸੀਮ ਦੈਟ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸ਼ਾਉ ਇਨ ਅਸ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਾਈ ਬੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਓ ਸਿਖਾ ਤੋ ਆਨਾ ਕਰ ਪਰ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਰਵਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਪਰਫੈਕਟ ਜਸਟ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਮਰਜ ਬੈਕ ਇਨਟੂ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਅ ਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਪੰਨਨ ਘੜਨ ਸਮਰਤ ਹੈ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਓ ਪਾਵਰਫੁਲ ਦੈਟ ਕੈਨ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਅਸ ਆਵਰ ਓਲਡ ਹੈਬਿਟਸ ਡਾਊਨ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਕਸ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਨਿਊ ਅਗੇਨ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਥਰੂ ਥੀਸ ਸਾਖੀਆਂ one of the days guru gobind singh ji path cha they come running home and when they come running home mata gujri says kende lal ji lal ji they used to call him lal ji lal ji meaning beloved child kende lal ji kende aapne kende taade main kende done hathan upar done bahan vich do kangan paaye san i put two gold bangles on you where have they gone i can only see one now and gobind rai said mother that is not a problem i'll show you where the other one is kande aajo guru gobind singh ji padshah taqriban hun 4 saal di umar hai guru gobind singh ji pach is taken mata gujri over to the ganga and guru gobind singh ji is saying to mata ji everybody else is trying to look for the ganga even mama karpal chand is out there's a whole search party happening and guru gobind singh ji says very quietly says mata ji says thode jay idhar aayu this is come aside i will tell you guru gobind singh ji takes mata ji over guru sikh pyare to guru gobind singh ne dusra bhi kada la ke kade mata ji oh gaya kade mata ji main utthe sitya i have thrown it into the ganga there just where i have thrown this one that's where i have thrown the other one guru gobind singh ji padshah keh le kade mata ji what is guru gobind singh ji truly saying to mata ji ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਇਹੋ ਇੱਕ ਸਮਾਂ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਆਊਗਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੁਣ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੀਵੀਂ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਉੱਪਰ ਖੜੇ ਨੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਆ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਅ ਲੋ ਲੈਵਲ ਟੁਡੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪਰ ਸਮਾਂ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਆਊਗਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਆ ਬੋਥ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਅ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਈ ਲੈਵਲ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗਨ ਬੀ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਚਮਕੌਰ ਗੜੀ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗਨ ਬੀ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਠੰਡਾ ਬੁਰਜ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੈਵ ਥਰੋਨ ਥੀਸ ਬੈਂਗਲਸ ਅਵੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗਨ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਸੈਟ ਆਫ ਬੈਂਗਲਸ ਈਚ ਦੈਨ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੈ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਜੋੜਾ ਕੰਗਣਾ ਦਾ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਕੋਲ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਜੋੜਾ ਕੰਗਣਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਕੋਲ ਛੋਟੇ ਕੰਗਣ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਵੱਡੇ ਕੰਗਣ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਓ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਸੈਟ ਆਫ ਬੈਂਗਲਸ ਵਿਚ ਆਰ ਗਨ ਬੀ ਯੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗਨ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਸੈਟ ਆਫ ਬੈਂਗਲਸ ਵਿਚ ਆਰ ਗਨ ਬੀ ਓਲਡ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੈਵ ਸ਼ੋਡ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਥਰੋਨ ਥੀਸ ਬੈਂਗਲਸ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਗੰਗਾ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗਨ ਬੀ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਗਨ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਵਾਚ ਯੋ ਕੰਗਨ ਯੋ ਜੋੜੇ ਬਿਨ ਥਰੋਨ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਨੀਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਰੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਦੂਰ ਸੱਟ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਦੋ ਪੁੱਤਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਚਮਕੌਰ ਗੜੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੋਰਨਾ ਆਇਆ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੈਵ ਤੋਰ ਥੀਸ ਬੈਂਗਲਸ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਯੋ ਗਨ ਹੈਵ ਵਨਸ ਐ ਅੰਗ ਨਾ ਹੈਵ ਵਨਸ ਐ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਜਿਗਰਾ ਰੱਖਿਓ ਦਿਲ ਵੱਡਾ ਰੱਖਿਓ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਬ੍ਰੇਵ ਹਾਰਟ ਫੋਰ ਟੂ ਵਾਚ ਥਿਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਚੋਜੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਗੋਵਿੰਦਾ ਚੋਜੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਮੇਰਾ ਚੋਜੀ ਜੀਓ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵੰਡਰਸ ਕੈਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਵਾ ਆਲਸ
She's full of devotion for Wahiguru, but if she sees this gold, she might be led towards it. So what Bhagat Kabirji did, they kicked some mitti over it. With their foot on the mitti, oh, sonne upper padi thi. The Mata Ji kahan leke kende Loi Ji kahan leke kende Kabir Ji kende Pati Ji kende. Tusi ki karde ho ji? Kende what are you doing? And Bhagat Kabir Ji kende 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 utte sona si kende jameen upper mai udhe utte mitti padi thi. Kete aadhe kende nazar aave chena paaj ve kende acha ji. Loi Ji kende kende Loi Ji kahan leke the wife said kende halle aithe ta ki. You are only there yet. माता लोई जी सर कहें मैनों तो सोना दिसया ही नहीं कहते मैनों तो दिसी ही मिट्टी सी इन अवस्था सी माता लोई जी की शी सिज आई दिन एवन सी द गोल वैन आई लुक दैट डायरेक्शन आई ओनली सी सो मिट्टी है नहीं वही जो नर दुख मैं दुख नहीं माने सुख सने हर भै नहीं जाके कंचन माटी माने शी वॉज एट दैट अवस्था एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ अ लाइफ एट दैट स्टेट ऑफ माइंड दैट शी ईवन लुकड अपॉन गोल्ड एज डस्ट Guru Sikh Pyaar, this is what Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paach is teaching us through this Kanga. I'm going to finish off with one Sakhi. We're not going to get to get to the end of today. But Guru Sikh Pyaar, at the edge of this river Ganga, is sitting a Brahman called, Shiv Raj, called Pandit Shivdat. Pandit Shivdat is sitting at the edge of, of Ganga. And he sits there and he's completely devoted and he's meditating upon Ram's name. He sits there waiting, waiting for the darshan of Ram and he's saying, sitting there saying Ram, Ram. He's not meditating upon the Ram that is Ramaya Huya. He's me meditating upon the Ram that came in the Tripta Juk. And one day Guru Sipiru, as Pandit Shivdat is sitting there, much time goes past. And a Raja and a Rani come over to him. A king and a queen come over to Raja, to Pandit Shivdat, to this Brahmin. And when these two come over to him, this king, Raja Fateh Chand Mani, and he comes over to, to, to Pandit Shivdat and he does Bainti, he says, Bainti ya Abji Age, he says, I have heard many things about you, to this Pandit. He says, I have heard great things about you, I hear that you are able to bestow sons to the people's houses. People that empty from sons. I hear that you can fill their homes within, with, with sons. And the Pandit says, you've heard wrong. He says, you've heard wrong. You hear? You've heard that I can do this? He said, no. He says, you are mistaken. He says, you are mistaken. He goes, let me tell you a little story. He goes, I used to sit here on, this, on the edge of the bank of this river. I used to sit here shouting out Ram's name. He goes, then a few times I looked around and he saw, I saw this beautiful child running around. He goes, my heart was pulled towards him. He goes, but then I still doubted him. He goes, but one day when I sat, he goes, my face was running with tears, wanting to see Ram. He goes, somebody came behind me. He goes, I felt a child climbing upon my back. He goes, this child then embraced me from the back and he put his arms around me and he put his then, then he put his fingers over my face. And I heard a voice, a beautiful voice saying, saying, Jat. And he says, when I looked around, everything that I had read, every vision that I imagined Ramji to be like, because when I turned around to look at this child, because I saw Ram before me. Because my eyes couldn't believe, my, believe themselves. Because I turned around again, because when I looked again, and it was that child that I used to see running around Gobind Rai. He says, I looked again and I saw Ram again. He goes, I looked again and it was Gobind Rai. He goes, I fell at the feet of this child. Because you asked me for a child? He goes, now I realize. Because when people came to ask me, he goes, the giver of gifts was playing in these galiyan. Because Aap Kaal Purk, he goes, this galiyan which kheed de asi. He goes, De ta o re asiga ta naam mera lag re asi. He goes, He was giving, and it was my name that the people were saying. He goes, Why don't you go to him direct who, who has blessed me as well? And he says, But I'll give you a jugti. This is what Mahapur could do. Jayakita pe Mahapur khanu miliyena ajvi. O jugti din dene. They give us a way, a secret of how to get to Vaheguru. Ta ho pandit kain laga shivdate. Raja, 
ਫਤਿਹ ਚੰਦ ਮੈਣੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਉਹ ਡੋਂਟ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰੇ ਚਲ ਜਾ go back home and tell your wife to sit down because she wants a son tell her to sit at home and cry out to gobind rai and cry out to bala pritam this beloved child and say come to my house and bless me with this child they do justice they go back home they sit down and they call out to bala pritam they come and give us darshan come and give us darshan so that we can ask for a son from you so you can bless us with a son but go sick very many months go by gobind rai doesn't come and the rani one day said rani mani said to her husband we're doing something wrong how can it be that we call him and he doesn't come and they sit down and discuss and they say we are calling him to come and bless us with a son Why do we need to ask him for a son if he is the giver of everything if he is everything don't you think if we call for him to come to our house that we will have everything anyway Gursik Bihario but now Rani Mani her pukar her cries have now changed now she is not crying out and say bless me with your darshan so I can so you can bless me for a son saying oh bala pritam i only want you he wouldn't come first why because jin man hor mukh hor se kaande kacche ha because her mind before was saying i want a son and the mukh was asking for bala pritam to come and they didn't match her mouth was saying something before else her mind was some, saying something else but now dil ho mohabbat jin sahi sachi ha jin man hor mukh hor se kaande kacche ha ratte is khudai rang didar ke but now her love is true cuz now she has become completely desireless seva kart hoye ne kami there is no desire now this ko hot prapat swami only they attain why guru when they become desireless gursik pyare ho and now she is saying what is her inside saying her inside now is crying and saying dar se tere ki pyas man lagi This is my mind is now thirsty for your darshan. Dars tere ki pyas man lagi sahaj anand pase bairagi. This is now I have become a bairagan. My mind is completely bairagi. I have become completely detached from the world. I have detached myself from wanting a son. I have no cleverness left in my ask. I have no eye left in my ask. Now there is only you. left dars tere ki pyas man lagi sahaj anand base bairagi now she is in sahaj sahaj meaning adol avastha sahaj meaning she is not wavered by anything now now that thought isn't killing her anymore wanting a worldly son jan kamal ki aas pyare now she only has hopes in singh bala pritam द चरण कमल अबाला प्रीतन चरण कमल की आस प्यारे जम कंकर नस गए विचारे नाउ द जम द जम ऑफ काम क्रोध लोभ मोहकार इज इट कमिंग एनीवे नियर एनी मोर नाउ डेथ कैन नॉट टच हर नाउ बिकॉज़ नाउ शी ओनली आस्क्स फॉर बाला प्रीतम गुरसिक प्यारो विद इन द शब्द इज अ ब्यूटीफुल पंक्ति एंड इट सेज तू चते आवे तेरी मैं says to chete aave that if i remember you it is your kindness today we think some people think if i've got a big house he must be happy with me people think if i pass my exams he must be happy with me but no guru sikh pero gurbani saying if i am able to remember you now i know you must be happy with me it is your kindness that you've blessed me with your remembrance tu chitya ve teri maya maya meri kindness it is your kindness bala pritam that i am only able to remember you now and now that day she becomes desireless kursik pyar her heart is saying avo sajna hon dekha darshan tera ram kar aap nade khadi takka main man chauk ne ra ram kar aap nade khadi takka i stand in the doorway of my heart waiting to let you in 
ਘਰ ਆਪ ਨੜੇ ਤੇ ਹਾਊਸ ਆਫ ਹਰ ਹਾ ਘਰ ਆਪ ਨੜੇ ਖੜੀ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਡੋਰਵੇ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਹਾਰਟ ਟੂ ਲੈਟ ਯੂ ਇਨ ਬਾਲਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਤਮ ਵੈਲ ਵਿਲ ਯੂ ਕਮ ਬਟ ਨਾਓ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ੁੱਧ ਬੁੱਧ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹੀ ਨਾਓ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਵੇਵਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਹਰ ਆਈਜ਼ ਆਰ ਕਲੋਜ਼ਡ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪਾਚਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੋ ਇਜ਼ ਪਲੇਇੰਗ ਅ ਗੇਮ ਕਾਲਡ ਖਿਦੋ ਖੁੰਡੀ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਕ੍ਰਿਕਟ and they bat the ball into the palace of rani mani today guru gobind singh ji didn't just bat their ball into the hair palace they batted the whole bakshish into their palace the whole of the grace of guru gobind singh ji came into her palace she's got her eyes closed she's crying out she used to be waiting for somebody to call her mother to say ma to her but now she's just waiting for bala pritam her eyes are closed Five years old, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paatshah come and climb in her laps and sit in her laps. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paatshah sit in her laps and take her in, in their embrace. They put their arms around her. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paatshah ne apni abaha. Oh, sir, Rani Mani de gale vich paaliya. Rani Mani doesn't even know. Because now she's in, absorbed inside. She's gone inside. Bala Pritam, sitting in her laps with her arms around her Guru Sikpia. Rani Mani has got her eyes closed and the word that Bala Pritam the first word that he says to Rani Mani is saying and she he says he says ma he says ma I can't call oh mother open your eyes Rani Mani doesn't know is that voice coming from inside it feels like this vo- is the whole of the banaspati it feels like all of the forests are vibrating and saying ma to her she opens her eyes who does she see before her darshan dekh nihal darshan karke nihal hogi nanak preet eh she was sitting there in that preet in that love for darshan and bala preetam is looking into rani mani's eyes she's full, filled with tears go sick pyare ho rani mani is trying to get away from bala preetam why is she trying to get away bala preetam is laughing and she doesn't and he doesn't let rani mani get away he's holding her tight she chona escape why she chona escape bala pritam kende ma kende ma kende ma da ek seesh kende bacche de charna vich ni sona lagda so sobda nahi ma she was trying to do matha take to bala pritam and bala pritam says it doesn't look nice for a mother's head to be in the feet of a child ma apna hath mere sir upar rakh de ma da hath da sada hi sir upar janda ya mother take your hand and put it above my head she does just this she's lost she's in ecstasy sod bud pul gayi gur sik pyare ho an bala pritam gur gobind singh ji paatsha pare ho ke ta kahan lagge kende ma kende bhukh badi lagi aj and i feel so hungry today tarani mani kal ke ki to a servants kende jao ja ke mithaiyan la ke aao go and get fresh mithai is made bala pritam says i don't want the mithaiyan of the shops says ma jede tu aap apne hathi ho banaye ne na shohle puriyan oh la ke aao she's wonder struck thinking how does he know that i've made these things how does he know i've fried grams how does he know i've made puriyan she's filled with tears yaad rakhiyo guru sik pyare ho ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਨਾ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹੁਣੇ ਟ੍ਰੇਨ ਉੱਪਰ ਬੈਠੇ ਨੇ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਟ੍ਰੇਨ ਉੱਪਰ ਬੈਠੇ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਧੂ ਮਿਲ ਪਿਆ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਮੀਟਸ ਦਿਸ ਸੇਮ ਸਾਧੂ ਦਾ ਇਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਅਪ ਆ ਹਾਊਸ ਹੋਲਡ ਵੇਜ਼ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਮੈਰਿਡ ਇਸ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਡਿਟੈਚ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਨਾ ਦੋ ਪਰੌਂਠੇ ਕੱਢੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੁਥਲੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਆ ਬੈਗ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਾਧੂ ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਕੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਈਟ ਸਮ ਪਰੌਂਠੇ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ and the sadhu looks up by veer singh and takes one prasad that takes one prontha ta jado sadhu ne jado ek burki pai na apne muh vich he takes one burki and he puts it into his mouth ta sadhu roon la paya sadhu ne pronthe rakh dete thalle and he sits there for ages and pai veer singh ji kehne kehnde kehnde sade like ke sade kol koi galti hui ji sadhu ji have i made a mistake why do you not eat this food ਆ ਸਾਧੂ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਹ ਕਿਨੇ ਬਣਾਏ ਨੇ ਪਰੌਂਠੇ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਗਲਤੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵਰ ਮਿਸਟੇਕ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਟੇਸਟ ਅ ਮਦਰ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਹੇਅਰ
ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ 25 ਸਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਗੁਜਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ 25 ਇਅਰਸ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਟੇਸਟਡ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਦਾ ਲਵ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਵੋਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਕੰਪੈਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਮ ਅ ਮਦਰਸ ਹੈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਗੋਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਫੂਡ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਡ ਥਿਸ ਟੇਸਟ ਫਾਰ 25 ਇਅਰਸ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਟੇਸਟ ਮਾਈ ਮਦਰ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਫੂਡ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਸੇਡ ਦੇ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਗੁਰਸਿਕ ਪਿਆਰਾ ਅੱਜ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਗੋ ਆਊਟ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੋ ਮਨੀ ਟੇਕਅਵੇਸ ਬਟ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖਿਓ ਜੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਮਾਂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਨਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਯਾਦ ਆਊਗਾ because the compassion that goes into that food when the mother is making it for a child you can realize that today as well kar kar sik pyare ho i was going to say you won't get the same taste of just going to say to the things from your wife that you get from your mother kar kar sik pyare ho guru gobind singh ji kehne lage kehne ma sholiyan sholay te puriyan khalao and she brings it out othe hai ਸ਼ਾਕ ਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਬਾਲਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਤਮ ਅੱਜ ਜਦੋਂ ਘਰ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਗੋਸ ਬੈਕ ਹੋਮ ਟੁਡੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਗੁਜਰੀ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਲਾਲ ਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਬੜੀ ਦੇਰ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਅੱਜ ਤਾਂ ਰਹਿ ਰਸ ਦਾ ਸਮਾਂ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਲੇਟ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਤਾਂ ਅੰਟਿਲ ਅਪ ਅੰਟਿਲ ਟੁਡੇ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਇਨ ਪਟਨਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਰਹਿ ਰਸ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਜ਼ ਡਨ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੈਨ ਬਾਲਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਤਮ ਰਿਟਰਨਡ ਬੈਕ ਹੋਮ ਫੋਰ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਜਦੋਂ ਚਾਹ ਜਦੋਂ ਚਾਰ ਪੈਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਦਿਨ ਦਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਲੰਘਦਾ ਹੈ ਭਾਵ ਜਦੋਂ 6 ਵਜੇ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਮਾਂ ਲੰਘਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਮਾਤਾ ਗੁਜਰੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਲਾਲ ਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਕਿੱਧਰ ਗਏ ਸਨ ਵਾਟ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਔਨ ਟੂ ਟੁਡੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਮਾਂ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਅੱਜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਡ ਅਨਦਰ ਮਦਰ ਟੁਡੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਗੁਜਰੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਮਾਂ ਤੂੰ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਉਹ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਦੋ ਮਾਵਾਂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀਆਂ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਮਦਰਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕਹਿਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਪੰਜ ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਉਮਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਗਾਟ ਟੂ ਆਈਸ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਵਨ ਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਮਦਰਸ ਬਟ ਵਨ ਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਸੇਸ ਹਾਊ ਵਿਲ ਯੂ ਪਲੇ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਲੈਪਸ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਮਦਰਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੇਡ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਐਵਰ ਸੀਨ ਅ ਪੂਰਨਮਾਸ਼ੀ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਮੂਨ ਕਮਸ ਆਊਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੇਡ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਦਾ ਮੂਨ ਕਮਸ ਆਊਟ ਔਨ ਪੂਰਨਮਾਸ਼ੀ देयर ਆਰ ਟੂ ਸੈਟਸ ਆਫ ਪੌਂਡਸ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਦਾ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਮੂਨ ਇਨ ਬੋਥ ਪੌਂਡਸ the moon sits in the laps of both ponds just like this gobind rai will play in the laps of both mothers such as gobind rai gursik pyare we will continue the journey from next week and we will get to the gurgaddi so khair itni ek beinti hai parwan karniya ek nahi par aneka hi galtiyan ho gayi hon gaya anjaan bachcha samjh ke maaf kar dena gursik pyare aao ral mil ke ohi kalgi tar paatsha di bakshi hui fateh ਗੱਜ ਵੱਜ ਕੇ ਬੁਲਾਉਣੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ